1979, John Lack announced at the Billboard's inaugural video music conference that he was going to release a 24-hour video music network. Video radio, he called it. This came at a time when music videos pretty much didn't even exist. And it was a very difficult pitch to the record companies because not only did they have to pay for the budget of a whole music video, but they also had to give it to MTV for free. But the MTV team managed to convince a lot of people. And so they finally launched on August 1st, 1981 at 12.01 AM with the famous words, ladies and gentlemen, rock and roll. But the initial broadcast was only available to about 10,000 cable subscribers in Northern New Jersey. And in those early days, MTV's programming was based around pretty simple music videos, which were introduced by VJs or video jockeys. But as MTV gained in popularity, the record companies started to see the value in this. And a lot of famous directors like Spike Jones actually started with MTV music videos before making feature films. And in that first episode, the very first music video ever played on MTV was the Buggles video killed the radio star while Peter Gabriel's Sledgehammer is the most played video of all time. From there, MTV took off and became a cultural phenomenon. Then in the late 1980s, MTV released non-music programming and slowly MTV turned from music videos to comedy shows to reality TV. Today, MTV reaches half a billion households across the world and is now under the Viacom brand, which is worth $18 billion. And that's how MTV started. Thank you for watching my video. If you enjoyed it, please subscribe to me on YouTube and follow me on Instagram at Austin Daniel Petrie.